Johnny Cash is widely known for being a legendary country music singer, songwriter, and guitarist. With hits like I Walk the Line, Ring of Fire, and Folsom Prison Blues, Cash is regarded as one of the best-selling artists of all time. Despite his impact on music and pop culture, many people are unaware of Johnny Cash's second life, his involvement in the Cold War. Welcome to Into the Museiverse, where we dive deep into the ever-changing landscape of music. Johnny R. Cash was born on February 26, 1932, in Kingsland, Arkansas, to Ray Cash and Carrie Clovery. He was the fourth of seven children. In 1950, at the age of 18, Johnny Cash did what many young men of the time did. He enlisted in the United States Air Force. Johnny was shipped off from his home in Arkansas to Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. While there, he met his future first wife, Vivian Liberto, at a roller rink, but they wouldn't be married for another four years. After dating Vivian for only three weeks, Johnny received his deployment papers and was shipped off to Landsberg, West Germany, for a three-year tour. The base served as one of the forward outposts during the outbreak of the Cold War, which the world found itself in after World War II, in the face of Soviet aggression. During Johnny's enlistment period, he rose to the rank of Staff Sergeant and became an accomplished Morse code operator in a security service unit. Due to his skill in deciphering Morse code, he was placed in a prominent position at his Landsberg post to eavesdrop on Soviet communications. The experience in Landsberg was a significant marker in the life of the man in black. During his three-year stay at the base, he exchanged hundreds of love letters with Vivian and formed his first ever band, the Landsberg Barbarians. Though many people believe Johnny wrote his biggest hit, Folsom Prison Blues, after seeing the infamous prison firsthand, he actually wrote the song while stationed in Landsberg inspired after watching the film Inside the Walls of Folsom Prison. Johnny felt like he could relate to life in the clink because of his top secret military position. The sensitivity of his job required that he couldn't talk to anyone about what he specifically did, not even Vivian back in Texas, and Johnny's off-base privileges were severely limited. But all this secrecy also led to one of Johnny's biggest accomplishments. While manning his post on March 5, 1953, Staff Sergeant Cash transcribed what would be a very important communication from the Russians. At the time, Soviet Premier Leader Joseph Stalin was in very poor condition. As the man at the head of the Soviet Empire, Stalin's health status was of critical importance to the United States intelligence community and all Western powers. While monitoring the Soviet Morse code chatter on March 5th, Johnny Cash became the very first American to hear of the death of the Soviet Supreme Leader. Cash then relayed the important info to his superiors, and the rest is history. Eventually, the fact would just become a footnote in history compared to Johnny's more famous musical accomplishments. Though Johnny's mastery of Morse code and the Stalin death intercept may not seem to have much to do with his music on the surface, Cash's ability to pick out important rhythms and tones in sometimes garbled, busy, and concealed communications helped him later in life in his ability to find that unique sound that would speak to America, and eventually the world, in a language everyone could understand. Johnny Cash was a true icon a legend who left an indelible mark on the world of music. But Johnny was more than just a musician. He may have left us, but his music, his spirit, and his memory continue to live on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Turn on the notification bell to not miss any other music videos that I post in the future.